Hello friends, my name is Vinit Arora and you are watching Azure DevOps series. In this session, we are going to see that how we can deploy the Docker image to Azure App Service with the help of Azure Container Registry. So what we will do, we will get a sample code which is, will be in Python application and there we will have a Docker file. We will create the build inside our Azure DevOps pipeline and then once we will have the build, we will basically once we will have the image, we will push it to the container registry. And once we will create the container registry, we will deploy it to app service, Azure app service. Right? And this we will do with the help of service connection. So in this session, we will see the practical demonstration. First of all, we will create the container registry, then we will create the Azure pipelines. Okay? So let's start. And uh, before starting, let me just request you that please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, please like. Thank you. Okay, let's move to Azure Container Registry now. So now I am in the Azure portal. What I will do, I will create the Content Registry. So you can search for the Content Registry here and you will get a resource basically to create a resource type of Content Registry. Okay, so now I will click on Create. And here I will choose the resource group, the registry name I need to provide. So the registry name I am going to use this one. Avin ACR. Uh, location is Central India. Now I will simply click it and will create it. So now our Azure Container Registry is ready. What we will do? We will go to the we will go to this resource. Now, if you will see here, we have the repository section, and here you can see that there is no repository till now. So once we will create the image and we will push it, we will get that image here itself. Okay. After doing this, there is an important step that we don't need to miss that is with respect to access keys. And here we need to make it enable as an admin user. So once we will click on admin user, we will get the username and password. Now the thing is why this is required? This is required because, uh, let me show you here, once we will configure it to the app service, basically what we will do in app service, we'll just configure that boss, this is the image name and this is the content registry, now you need to fetch it. So how our app service will fetch it? Our app service will fetch it with the help of this particular credentials. Right? Okay. Now, so now we have created the content registry. It's time to create the build. So for the build purpose, I have a sample code. I will provide you the link in the sample code of the sample code in the description as well. Let me just show you that particular code. Where is it? So, so this is available here on this particular link. As updated, I will give you the link in the description section. You can find it from there. So here we have a simple, this is a Python application and this is just, they are just two important files, server.py file. This py file contain the uh, information, but this is the message. So once we will applic our application will start, we will get this message, right? And this is our Docker file. So once it will start, it will. Uh, we need to set some environmental variable for the Flask application. So we have already set it. It will use the image of Python, right? And this will use the uh, pip install requirement.txt. So inside the requirement.txt, we have a uh, Flask requirement list, if you will see. So we will use this Flask application. Now, what we will do, we will simply build it. So for that purpose, we will go to the DevOps. And here, we will click on New Pipeline. Here, I am going to use the classic editor. And what I will do, I will use a GitHub. Here, you may be in need to authenticate with your credentials. Now, it's time to provide the repository name. So this repository name is public repository. So what I will do, I will need to copy this from here after the slash. To last, I will copy it and paste it. Now, 
it will show the what is the default branch name. So the default branch name is main branch. I will click on continue. Now here I need to provide the template. So the template uh, I am going to use the Docker one. We just need to use Docker, and we need to click here as a apply. So now if you will see, we have the two task: build an image and push an image. So the part of the what will the so what exactly the build an image will do? It will build the image as from its name, and the push an image will push the image. Okay, so uh, here we need to choose the subscription. So we will choose the subscription. I have already created the two service connect uh, two service connection. If you don't know how to create the service connection, I'll provide you the link because I have already created a video for this. You may go through that and you will be able to know that how we can create the service connection. Okay, so I am choosing this one. Now I am choosing the Azure Container Registry. This is the registry that I have just created. And now we need to, this is already coming as a build and image. And now we need to provide the Docker file. So we'll click here and we will give the link of Docker file. Now it's time to provide the image name. The by default image name is coming as repository name colon build ID. If we want, we can customize it as well as per, our, as per our requirement or as per our project. But here I'm not going to change it. But yes, if you want, you can give it any name, something like image hyphen. Okay, so let me give it as a image hyphen here itself, right? So now we will get the image and build repository name colon build ID. So this will be our tag. Okay, so this is the build part. Now let me just copy this. And now let me push it. Let me paste it inside the section of image name here. Here we don't need to change anything other than choosing the subscription service connection and container registry. Okay, now we are done. We just need to save it and run it. Before that, let me just choose the Ubuntu latest as a agent specification. Okay, I will save and queue it. So till the time it is building, let me just show you we don't have any repository here till yet. Okay, once it will build and push, we will get a new repository here. Okay, it has pushed the image. Now let me just click here, refresh. And now you can see that we have the new repository. And the name is this that we already configured. And if you will see the tag, the tag is 43. Okay, so we have a new, we have a new repository a new image that has been pushed to container registry, Azure container registry. Okay, now let me jump here. So we have seen to create container registry. We have seen this part as well about the building of image. Now it's time to create the app service. Okay, what I will do, I will go to the Azure portal and here I will click on app services and here I will click on create okay now what I will do I will choose the resource group name and here I will provide the app service name uh, now as a part of publish I will choose a docker container and then operating system as a Linux and here because I belong with India so I'm going to choose central India as a region and now I have already created an app service plan so if you have not already created an app service plan, you will need to have a Linux app service plan here. To save the time, I have already created and we are using it. Okay. Now, next click Docker. Now, here we need to choose the container. That is, which container, that is the image source, we need to choose it. So, as because we have already created an Azure Container Registry, so what I will do, I will choose the image source as Azure Container Registry. And here, I have chosen, I have not chosen, it is coming automatically as a registry part. So the registry, the, there was only single registry. So that's why this is coming as auto selected. And the image name is coming auto selected and the tag name as well. It is taking the latest tag. So now thing is, one important point here. Uh, if you remember, we have enabled the access keys. If you will not enable the apps access keys here, 
So here we will get the error because this credential at the time of configuring it, it will use these app service, these credentials and this will configure it in its configuration section automatically. I will show you that as well. Okay. So now let me click on the next. Okay, I'm not choosing any app inside. I will simply review it and create it. Okay, so now it is creating the app service. Till the time it is creating, let me update you some important point that we need to keep in mind. Those important points are with respect to the uh, some configurations, which are what are those configurations? Uh, Azure App Service will pull, uh, let me tell you, Azure App Service will pull image from the ACR on a startup, right? This I have already told you. Uh, basically, with the help of this DevOps, we will just configure it that appli when application will start, it will use the, that configuration and pull it. And th at that time, it will use the credentials. Sometimes we may face the issue with respect to it or an authentication. At that time, we may be in need to give the app. Uh, service identity and container role. We will see that. I will show you that as well if we will get that issue. Okay. The next thing is the username and password that I have already updated you. Okay. It has been created. Let me go to the resource. Uh, the important, another important point is configuration. Inside the configuration, I need to make it one thing that is as a general settings inside the general setting i need to keep it as always on right and the next thing i need to click on save okay continue next thing is application setting that i was talking about here if you will see these are the registry name registry password and server urls right username so this is the username and password that we are getting from the Azure Container Registry. So this is the password as a primary password, if you will see here, and this coming here. So this has been automatically set up. Okay. Uh, now, let me browse this application. Okay. Till that time, this browsing, let me show you the locks as well. Here, inside the section here, we have a Logs. This is a very important monitoring tool which helps us to know that what is the status of image, how it is going, how it is pulling from the image source, right? Image source in the sense because this thing I was talking about here, we have once we will configure it, so it will push, it will pull the image from the content registry, and that all log we can get it from here itself inside the log stream. Okay, uh, there's one more important configuration that we need to add that is website container start time limit. Okay, and what we will do, we will go to the configuration section. And here we will add it as a value of 1800. Now we will click on OK and we will just save it. Okay, now what we will do, we will go to the logs once again. And we will see that how this is going. Okay, so we can find that uh, this is the log application is started. And now we can see that our application is ready and this is running. So this is the content that we were expecting on the startup of this page, right? And here is the log. And here you will see that every time, whenever I will click on this page, I will get the log. Let me refresh it. And here I will get a new log with respect to it. Right? This one I have recently got. So in this way, we saw that how we can deploy the application without using the Azure DevOps. But now it's time to deploy the image with the help of DevOps. So what I will do, I will go to the DevOps pipeline once again and will add up one more task, right? So here I will go to this part and I will add it this once again. And here I will click on plus 
and I will search for container. So now I will search for Azure Web App for container and will add it. So here now what we need to do, basically till now we have done the deployment directly. There was no specific deployment. This was just at the startup of the application that we configured. Now we need to configure it with the, uh, with the DevOps. So here we will choose the service connection and we will choose the app service name. Okay. Now we need to give the image name. So here the important point we need to keep in mind, we need to give the complete image name. Like avin ser that azure is azure cr then uh, dot io slash image this is the image name that we have created here image hyphen right build repository name colon build id so this is the same thing i am giving here so now i just need to save it and run it okay so this running now so now this is doing the deployment on Azure Web App and here if you will see the logs you can find that it is updating the configuration settings right and here it is giving the uh, image name as avinacr.azurecr.io slash image name and then at last it is giving the tag name that is a 44 and that this 44 is coming from the build ID itself okay uh, till the time it is doing the updation let me also show you the uh, resource thing uh, let me show you the container registry so here in the container registry now we will get the two images right and here we will go to the repository section so this is the repository and here we have the two images one is the 43 and that another is 44 and this 44 is coming from this particular this particular uh, build right this is the build id that has pushed it and now here if you will see it it is taking some time to restart the app service and now it is stating that it has been successfully updated okay and here if you will see the log that is you will find that what is the log okay and here you will find that it has successfully downloaded it once again and if you will see the uh, we will browse it once again and we will that uh, we will that code here itself that particular content here itself okay so this is coming so now to get it proper tested what we need to do we just need to change the content of this and we need to run it once again so in this way we saw that how we can deploy a particular docker image to the azure container registry basically to azure app service right this diagram will help you a lot so this was for this purpose and i am here ending my session let's meet in another video so let me just request please subscribe to my channel so that you will get the latest update of my new videos Thank you.